I have a four millimeter rope chain at 22 inches and I'm looking for a second chain to go above it at 20 inches. I'm thinking of getting either a three millimeter flat curb, three millimeter rope, three millimeter mariner, or two millimeter rope. What would you personally wear? P.S. This is gonna be my everyday setup and may add a pendant to the 20 inch later. Let's get into it. The only thing that stays consistent is the grind. Keep on grinding. All right, so off the bat, this is a super in-depth uh, request and I appreciate it. Unfortunately, I don't have the exact millimeters that we want to look at today. So this gentleman here, uh, one of the awesome subscribers of this channel who is very available in the comments and who helps a lot of people, last time I checked, be able to make decisions on what they should purchase. This gentleman's reaching out and they're asking what they should pair with their 22 inch rope chain, the four millimeter 22 inch rope chain that they currently have now. So we're going to be looking at today, to the best of our ability, the closest chains that we can get to what this gentleman was looking for. We have, we don't have a three millimeter flat curb, but we do have a three millimeter Miami Cuban, which is going to look almost the same, almost the same. You're basically comparing the styles at this point, since we don't have the exact millimeters, but you guys are going to know well enough if you like the style and if you like the style at that point now you can take it up a millimeter down a millimeter up a half a millimeter whatever you guys want to do at the end of the day you're looking at the style right off the bat I'll tell you though a rope chain with a, a flat curb I think that would sound great but um, we're gonna be using that three millimeter Miami Cuban okay uh, we have a three millimeter rope so we have that, so that's good. Um, we have a 2.5 millimeter mariner, and we also have a two millimeter rope, okay? So unfortunately, we don't have that three millimeter flat curb. We'll be substituting that for the 3.5 millimeter Miami Cuban, okay? We have that three millimeter rope. We, we have a 2.5 millimeter mariner, not the three, all right? So we're gonna be up a little bit, we're gonna be down a little bit, and one of the chains is not gonna be the exact chain, but remember, it's the style you're looking at. What do you think? Let us know in the comments, guys. Help this gentleman out, like he's always helping out other people. What do you guys think would be best as far as this comparison? So let's get into this look now. Have here on the hand, just so before we get into this, you guys can see what I'm talking about and you can see the differences when it comes to the millimeters and things like this. We have the four millimeter rope chain. This is what the gentleman has already. He wants to pair that with a flat curb. Again, we don't have a flat curb, but we have a Miami Cuban. Keep in mind, guys, the flat curbs and Miami Cubans look very, very similar at these smaller millimeters. So even if we had the appropriate sized flat curb at a three, which we don't, we have a 3.5, it's still going to look, as far as the look, as far as the setup goes, it's going to look very, very similar, okay? We have a three millimeter rope chain over here. Then we have the 2.5 millimeter mariner. And then we have the two millimeter rope, okay? So let's throw these on the neck. So keep in mind, guys, remember, it's the style you're really focusing on. My, my boy who made this request, Pancake Society, Look, gotta love that name. Keep in mind, it's the style you're looking at. If you like a certain style that you see today, just go up and down a millimeter according to what you think. It's not too much off. It's really not too much off as far as what we're looking at. I think it's just enough to give you the perfect idea of what you should be doing. All right, let's throw these around the neck. So around the neck, as you guys can see, we have that four millimeter rope and we have that Miami Cuban. This is at 3.5. This gentleman asked about a three. If this looks too small already, you might not want to even go with the three. But remember, this is an everyday setup. This gentleman knows what he needs. He knows what he wants better than us. Okay, give you guys a good look of that. We'll take this 12 feet back, give you guys a good perspective of what this is gonna look like. Again, do a quick up close. 
All right, let's take this on back 12 feet away to give you guys a good perspective of what we're looking at. Okay. Take it back up. Next, we'll take a look at that three millimeter rope. All right, so this is the three millimeter rope. Keep in mind, guys, this chain is actually a bit longer than what I would like it to be. I tried to set it up as best as possible to give you guys a good visual on what those two ropes would look like. This is the three and the four millimeter. Check that out. What's, what's your thoughts? when it comes to these compared to with that flat curb. I gotta say, personally, so far, I mean, there's no doubt about it. Two ropes are gonna look absolutely beautiful. I, for some reason, I'm feeling the flat curb, though. I gotta be honest, I'm feeling the flat curb right now when you compare these two. Not to say that matters, because my opinion doesn't matter. It's what, you, what you're gonna be wearing and what you're gonna like. But that's what these videos are for, guys. These videos are there to try to help you kind of visualize what you're looking at as far as an everyday setup or an occasion, whatever the case might be. In this case, this is going to be an everyday setup. So also keep in mind versatility, you know, you're going to be rocking this every day. So what do you want to see the most out of everything we show right now? Let's move on to that next chain. Now here is the Mariner at 2.5 now remember we wanted to see this at a three which if you compare the two chains it would definitely make a difference it would definitely make a difference but this should be good enough to be able to determine if you like this setup okay what do you guys think about this setup i don't think it's bad i really don't think it's bad at all it's a unique look because you don't always see mariners. Keep in mind, if you had a three millimeter, you you would um, you would simply just make make this setup that we have now even more beautiful, which I think it is very beautiful. I like this so far. I do. I think it's very good at these smaller millimeters, the three millimeter range, or like what we're wearing right now, the two point five. I think it looks very very nice as far as an everyday setup, as far as whatever. I think it looks beautiful with that four millimeter rope and then a chain like this. I think it's very, very nice. Let me give you one more up close simply because this is a little bit smaller than what we had hoped for. Get a good look at if you like this, okay? Remember, it'll only look better at three millimeters if you like this already. All right, let's move on to that two millimeter rope. All right, and here we have that two millimeter rope hanging out real nice with the four millimeter. Now, this gentleman asked for the two to be shown, and gratefully we had a two to show. Personally, I think it's a little on the small side. I think maybe a 2.5 or maybe a three, like the gentleman asked for with the other chains, a three millimeter. I think that's kind of hitting home right now with me, personally. I'm still thinking about that flat curve, to be honest with you. Bring it back. Nothing wrong with the two millimeter, but when you're comparing it to a four, it may just be a little bit, maybe not, it's up to you, but in my mind, it's a little bit too much of a jump to go from four to a two. Now keep in mind guys, originally when this comment was, was, was sent over, he mentioned that he may in the future want to add a pendant. He said he may want to add a pendant to the 20 inch later on. Keep this in mind. Do you see this? You have this 22 inch here. You have this 20 inch here. You gotta keep in mind two things. Number one, if there was a pendant on this, which I do have a pendant, it is relatively small, but keep in mind, you don't have a lot of room. So you really need to make sure, because it's gonna be hanging like this. Is this enough room, enough clearance for the pendant that you may or may not get? That's number one. 
Okay. Keep in mind, if you may add a pendant later, you have to think in advance now, which is great why you added that to the equation here. Okay. Now, unless you get a very small pendant, it may end up hitting or coming too close and you may not like that look. Maybe instead of a 20 inch, you might want to go with an 18 and then put a pendant. That's up to you. Completely up to you. Another thing you want to keep in mind is if you're rocking a pendant, is the type of chain you're going to be rocking it with good for a pendant? So for example, a mariner, right? I don't know if a mariner would be best when using a pendant. Maybe it is. Depends on the pendant, I guess, right? At this setup, you're probably not going to be going too big, but keep in mind, you want to make sure you got a solid link such as the rope or such as the flat link, right? The, the flat curb, or, or in this instance, we use a small Miami. Those may do better for you when it comes to a pendant. Because on the Mariner, you have those thin links. They're very intricate links. May not be the best idea, but take it with a grain of salt. I just want to throw some theories out there for you to think about, some stuff to think about, okay? So that's why it's great that we're going into this. All right, guys, so I think that was it. Yes, that was all we had for today. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you for the wonderful, wonderful comments, the wonderful, wonderful requests, and everything you guys lend to this channel. It's because of you guys that this channel exists, and it's because of you guys that this channel is becoming what it is becoming. I'm grateful to hear every day that this channel is helping people to make wise decisions when it comes to their purchases. All right, guys? Be safe, be well, and I'll catch you guys at the next video.